Hey there everybody, how are you doing? And of course, I'm Spirit and welcome back to Lumberjack's Dynasty where today I'm hoping to actually complete the lumber mill. Unfortunately, because there is a lot to do because I would like to get the whole yard fixed and repaired I will be most likely doing time lapses, but you won't be seeing the whole thing. I'll be doing a small time lapse where you'll be seeing me fixing certain parts of it, and then once that is done and completed, I should be continuing with the episode and hopefully chopping down some trees or whatever the game wants me to do. So, I'll see you then. The lumber mill is up and running again. You're a real help. Now listen carefully. I have to tell you something. I know you've been around, and I think you'll like it here. You know, I want to retire, and I've been thinking about selling the farm and the lumber mill for quite a long time. I've been watching you, lad. You have the strength and the spirit. You are the man. You are family, and I think you belong here. Why don't you take the farm and lumber mill off our hands? Make it your own. Live here. Start a family. Be a part of the community. I don't know. I don't have the money to buy it from you, even if I wanted to stay. I know, lad, I know. So my offer is this. You take the house and the lumber mill, make yourself a home here, and build up a business. We share all the lumber mill profit 50-50 until you've paid me off. When you do, it's all yours. You could have a great life. You like it here, and the local people like you too. Maybe you will even have kids who will grow up here too. What do you think? I'm truly honored and grateful for your offer. I accept. This is wonderful. A new life will begin for you, I'm sure of it. I have to tell Grace. We have to celebrate this.
Well, wasn't that awesome? I've repaired the lumber mill, and now I am off to see a strange structure. All it says in the description is that I might actually uh, pay off for me to uh, go and investigate. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to see about their uh, business partner job, which is, of course, make money so I can pay off the uh, lumber mill and the farm. So it becomes mine. We're taking a quick trip up here. And if my voice sounds different, I do uh, apologize. I've got different headset on and it's actually uh, cancelling out noise around me and giving me 100% noise from the game. I used to uh, use uh, earphones or shall I say earplugs so you can hear the surroundings as well as the game so it's just different so here we go and it looks like a market and a store over here hello the lady I guess coffee store flowers as well ice cream Okay. Is there anything important? I'm using the uh, vision to see if there's anything else. I don't think there is anything else. Any collectibles? A pole. Okay. Any mushrooms? Because I still haven't found any. So I need to help out the herbalist. And that is it, really. Okay then, let's go to the uh, lady then. Let's see what she has to say. Hello, can I help you? What exactly are you selling? Well, not much really. Used to have the lot. Food, drinks, refreshments. Hope for tourists, hikers, you know. Those were the days. But they didn't really finish the tower, and it seems they never will now. Why is that? Well, rumor has it the investor tried to bribe the mayor and got caught. Others say he didn't, so he didn't get the permit. Who knows? People talk, you know, but they stopped building the tower, so my future looks grim. I think I will have to look for another job soon. Don't worry. I'm sure everything will turn out for the best. Thank you. And don't forget, if you have any fresh food, I will gladly buy it. I cannot pay you much, but I'll give you what I can afford. Oh, okay then. Care to trade? Because I have actually got food. Oh, hello there. So that looks like a recipe. For fish, okay. Seeds, nice. Working clothes. Better strength and stamina. But not much luck with sales and ladies. When bought, it goes directly to your changing room at home. Oh! So clothing affects you then. Alright then. And the same thing for these. I guess it's the bottoms and that's the top. All right, then. Not bad, but how much? Okay, okay. £6.40. £16. Wow, that's... Okay, beer. Well, you can have my beer, then. If any tourists do come, you can actually give them the beer that's good enough sell that there we go and the food wow just that's going to bring in a lot of money i'm very tempted 
to actually do that, but not quite yet. Because I still need that food for uh, my nutrients. Okay then. So, I have to go down the mountain. Right, so I am in the greenhouse. Let's go and plant some tomatoes to start off with. There we go. You there and there. There we go. Whoop, no, you. It's lucky that I actually had some in storage and I don't have to buy any quite yet because I don't know where to buy them from. That lady only sold seeds or plants, not actually uh, anything for the uh, greenhouse. But hopefully I can plant everything here. There we go. I have planted mostly everything. So I guess it's the same as Farmer's Dynasty. Click E here and let it go up to comfortable. Or should I say comfort? And it should stop right on that line. Okay then, I will stop it then. There we go. Well, I've got a bit of a problem. I can't get into any of these. So I don't know what is actually happening. I've got the marker above the lumber mill. So can I get some help? Good to see you, lad. How are you? Uh, hello, Uncle. Are you all right? Need me help with something? Need me to help you with something? No, nothing at the moment. Okay, can I get some help? I need to ask you something. Sure. What do you want to know? Oh, goodness me. There's a lot to talk about. How can I get more equipment? You could always buy new vehicles if you have cash. But if I were you, I'd go around and talk to people. I'm sure a lot of them have some old equipment they could spare. Tell me more about the lumber mill. The lumber mill is what you will need to build up your business. You cut the tree into logs as we did together. Then you transport them to the river so the logs float all the way down to the mill. Once they get there, the woodwork starts. First, the bark is stripped off. Bear logs can be sold as they are, but you don't earn much that way. The bark can be gathered and sold too, but you'll need a trailer for that. If you fix that sawmill next door, you can cut the logs into planks. These are more useful and fetch a better price. After you dry these planks, you can use them to work on buildings yourself. You will save money that you can put to better use for building materials. You could sell chips too, but when the factory is finished, you'll be able to sell chipboards for more than you'd get for the chips. Besides, I always wanted to start making my own furniture, but never got around to it. But that would be something, you know? What about that old workshop? Well, you could buy fuel in bulk. It's cheaper that way. Then you could refuel your vehicles at the workshop there. Convenient, you know? With some skill, you'll be able to repair, repaint, and who knows, maybe even refurbish vehicles. This needs some skill. But hey, you may just acquire these skills over time, right? Do you have any advice for me as a mechanic? Time and skill, my lad. That's what it takes. You know how to repair buildings already, right? I am sure you will quickly learn how to rebuild them too. For rebuilding, you need new materials, but the end result will be worthwhile. You'll see. And on top of that, you'll learn how to repaint buildings for yourself or for other folks. These are very useful skills that will make you a real craftsman. Gotta go. Bye. Okay then. That's good, so... Hello, dear. Good to see you. I need to ask you something. Of course, sweetheart. What do you want to know? That greenhouse. What's it used for? What uses it? Well, you can grow all kinds of vegetables in it, 
They grow much quicker than they do outside. You can buy seedlings and seeds in the store to plant them in the greenhouse. If you look after your vegetables, water them well and keep them warm, they will grow quickly. Of course, you can use homegrown vegetables in two ways, cook them or sell them. You mentioned animals. You can keep cows and hens in the barn you saw on the farm. Perhaps even geese or ducks. Just think of it, having your own eggs and milk. Good food and good profit, too. You have to collect the eggs and milk the cows yourself every morning, but I'm sure you'd really like the real farm life here. You could also keep a cat to keep mice and rats away. Maybe a rooster if you're fancy. And of course, a dog is your trusty companion. A lot of people around here keep sheep, too. Naturally, there is more work with them, but sheep are so lovely. What can you tell me about gardening? There's a small orchard there already, and the apples are delicious. You could always put up some scarecrows to keep thieving birds away. You can also grow some flowers if you want to. I am sure they would look great on your farm. Talking of flowers, you could make an old dream of mine come true and make your own honey too. That would be wonderful. Do you have any cooking tips for me? Well, most of the things you produce are edible. Apples, vegetables, eggs, honey. You could can most of them and make jams and other preserves. Also, you can buy cookbooks to learn how to make more delicious meals, either for yourself or for sale. With a certain skill, you will learn how to experiment and be creative in your cooking. I am sure these meals will be delicious too. Any other advice you can give me? Well, folks around here are really friendly. So get around and talk to people. You can also ask Charles here. He knows everybody around here and should be able to tell you who could probably use a little help. Gotta go. Look after yourself. There we go. That is nice. I actually uh, thought, you know what, it's better to not talk whilst uh, they're talking. Because obviously they're giving a lot of information to you. So it would be wise to listen. But I need the truck. So I would like to try something out. There is already logs in the lumber mill. I would like to see how I can turn them into planks. And I guess this is wood chip. in that compartment logs are over here got three of them so where are the plank unit right. let's have a look in my vision oh here we go right i think i've got this down i have to recheck though Basically, what happens is that it comes down the stream here, goes up to this conveyor belt, goes through this bit up here, gets transported down here, goes on to here, and depending on what this switch is, it will go to the left, have its bark took off, and then ready to be sold as logs. Or it will come to the right and be cut into planks. So I have to switch it like this, I guess, go left, and then to switch it off like that, it will come to the right be cut down to size and then stored outside here so I cannot do anything with these logs apart from sell them and unfortunately it seems like I can't get the wood chip what's already in here out of the silo so this is where the wood chip gets stored and then I can put them into here. 
to dry them up, I guess, to make chipboards, which we've got here. I've repaired everything. So the truck can't do that. So I don't know exactly what to actually do. And I'm already uh, pushing my luck with the time as it is. So what I'm going to do is end the episode here. And in the next episode, what we can do is carry on with some of the missions. And hopefully, off camera, I can allow the greenhouse to grow and sell that. Well, the products, once they've actually uh, grown up and harvested. And hopefully I'll get some more apples so I can cook more apple jam. The apple jam. Food. Yes, it is. Apple jam. And get some money that way. So, for now, I'll leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate you all. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.